who's got two thumbs and is super excited about today's video. <laughs> okay, I am a massive dork, but I really am excited about today's video because honestly, I just think you guys are gonna love it. It's all about how to thrift for shoes. And we're gonna be thrifting in three different ways, which means whether you're looking for shoes or any type of item, I am gonna be sharing all of my very best tips, tricks, secrets for thrifting in this video. Let's get it. Okay, so welcome back. Welcome. If you're new here, we do thrifting, style inspiration, plus size, vintage, vintage, and new videos every Sunday. So please subscribe and let me know what videos you like. So today, as I mentioned, we're going to be thrifting for shoes, but it's really more than that because these tips and tricks can be used for any type of item that you're looking to buy secondhand. And I'll be honest, I actually did not set out to create this video. The concept came to me after because I happened to have like a two week period where I ended up thrifting three different pairs of shoes. And that was pretty unusual for me. And I realized that this would be an amazing opportunity to share with you on the different methods that I use to buy secondhand, as well as like all of my other general thrifting tips that will help you have greater success when you go to the store, or whether you're buying online, to show you the pros and cons of buying in store, in Facebook marketplace or online marketplaces. We're gonna compare those three methods today and then there's a bunch of other general tips that are gonna come up for you as we go. So whether you are someone who thrifts all the time or you're kind of new to buying secondhand, I hope you really enjoy coming thrifting with me in this experimental thrift with me three ways video. So as always, let's go thrifting. Today we are on a mission to find a particular style of shoe and I am going to go to up to three thrift stores to see if I can find it today. Now of course I, I could just go into DSW and buy a pair of Doc Martens kind of thing but that is going to be my like absolute last ditch effort. <laughs> uh, I really want to buy second hand first. Let's just get started with this Goodwill and see what we can find. So far, they don't have a huge selection here, though. They don't have a huge selection, but a lot of the things I found that were close were not in my size. So I think it's time to maybe double check the men's shoes and then move on. My bag is empty. I did not find anything in there. Anything that was close to the style I wanted was not in my size. So they don't have a big selection in that store, but it's so close to home. I just had to swing by because you never know. They put new stuff out every day. So you never know. We'll see if we go into the second one. For now, we're going to step into Unique, which I have been to before. You may have thrifted with me here in previous videos. And this one is a really, large thrift store like Savers Value Village. It's in that family. So they typically have a big selection. I am really expecting to be able to find something that will work for what I'm looking for. So let's go in and go straight to the shoes. My hint is to always treat yourself to a little breath mint before putting on your mask.
So I definitely have picked the wrong time of year to come and thrift this type of thing. They have not very many pairs of boots. And I found these, which I think are cool. They're not exactly the style, but I thought they might work. They are definitely gonna be like at least one, maybe two sizes too big. So I'm kind of striking out here too. I might go cruise around a little bit in the store, but I think I might need to redo my game plan and go check out a fourth thrift store uh, just since this has been a quick fail on finding something in these stores that I had planned to go to. So that's how it goes. I'm not sure if it would fit me. It has pockets. Oh my gosh. Okay, this skirt fits me, so I'm actually gonna get it. This is so cute. It's funny how it just was sitting right there as I was about to leave. Um, and then I actually remembered, this is totally random, but I'm switching to like cloth napkins and I found some that are like a really pretty green and that matches my dining room and they're buck 99, so I'm getting those too. Yay! Okay, I'm waiting in line, but like what is that? behind the counter, I gotta go check it out. I don't know, those look really big. But the style is right. Got my loot. I am really excited about that skirt and too bad about the boot situation. I'm a little surprised, but like I said, it's out of season, so I should have known better. But um, the ones by the register were definitely way too big, just to clear that up. Um, so I think I'm going to take a look at my phone. I believe I've probably got at least one more thrift store option that will be in this area. And that might have to go onto the agenda just so I can cover my bases and hopefully get these boots. Okay, here's where we're at. I did a little Google action and realized there were uh, two thrift stores 10 minutes away and they're actually like a block apart. So I decided it'd be worth it to come over and hit both, just look at the shoes. And now that I'm at the first one, I see that this is one I've never been to before. I thought that I had, but um, it looks a little like small and quaint. Uh, there's a lot of junk out front and I say that lovingly. Um, so I don't know if I'll be able to film in there, what it'll be like, but I'm gonna go take a peek at their shoes for sure. And then if we're still looking, I've got a Goodwill like pretty much right next door. So this is my Hail Mary of finding these boots at a thrift store today. So here we go.
These are not exactly what I had in mind, but I thought those were maybe kind of cool. They are 15. Okay, so I'm home and I'm happy because not only did I complete my mission of finding a pair of boots, but I also got a chance to check out a thrift store that I had never been to before. It's always cool to find those little pockets of thrift stores where you can visit a couple in one trip. So I'm gonna add that to the map. For my boots that I got, I only paid 15 for these. They are Steve Madden, little buckly boots. They're in pretty good shape. They have this zipper on the side, which is nice when you've got a tall boot to put to take them on and off easily. I think I'll still probably have room in my heart and in my closet if I find another pair that's a little bit closer to just a typical combat boot or maybe I'll invest in a Doc Martin someday kind of thing. In the area of getting distracted, I did stumble on to this really cute polka dot skirt today, which I just think was like meant to be. So for $5.99, I thrifted this. It's from Sag Harbor, which is like one of my ride or die, like vintage department store brands. Uh, it's in a medium, 100% polyester, which is not amazing, but it does have pockets, which you know, I live. I live for a pocket on a dress or a skirt. So this is really cute wearing it like up high waisted. I could see me wearing it with this t-shirt and then like dress it down with a pair of sneakers, make it look a little French girl with a pair of espadrilles. Like, oh, I love, this was like fate. It was sitting on top of the t-shirt racks, like near the register as I was about to leave the store empty handed and it called out to me. That I have been on a mission to find combat boots. So I still felt like I had room in my heart to also pick up a pair of something like Doc Martens. And of course those are classic and well-made and everything. So I did a little browsing on Facebook Marketplace, put my search parameters in. And I did that only a few days ago and there were actually a several options that came up for me. But I got a notification yesterday that there was a pair in my size, that the price was right, uh, they're in perfectly new condition, and just in the next town over. So message that lady and going to pick those up today. I'm super excited. And let me say, Facebook Marketplace is my favorite place to go secondhand after going to a thrift store because you still get to shop locally, you save on any packaging and shipping, and you get that instant gratification. You get to see the product in person before you buy it, and you get to take it home with you right away. There's also room to negotiate pricing, which is a good deal. So when it comes to looking for specific items, that's gonna be one of the first places I go to before I go to a Poshmark or Etsy or Depop. Although I love those guys too, of course. Secondhand is always good. All right, I got them. These are the docks I got. They're like mint condition, good price. Very happy to have these back in my life. Of course I had a pair back in the day that I don't know what happened to them. In fact, I remember also having a pair that had like the British flag, the Union Jack on the toe. Maybe I can find a picture of one to show you. Back in the day in high school in the 90s, don't do the math. And I know I'm gonna wear them with a lot of the vintage dresses that I've thrifted lately because I think wearing the edgier boots with the kind of flowery, feminine dresses is like a really cute mix, like a Julia Gulia look, if you will. So that Facebook Marketplace sale worked out great for me, and not only that, but the person who sold them to me was this awesome chick. I had a good chat with her, and we talked about thrifting and everything even. So it's actually the next day from what you just watched. When I got home last night, I had received my Poshmark order in the mail, and it actually has thrifted shoes in it. So I thought it'd be cool to include that in this video so we could get like the full range of thrifting shoes in different ways and have a little bit of a shoe haul. So I'm going to unbox it with you. If you're wondering uh, about my hair, if it looks totally different, it's because I did do my hair last night. I did a home cut and dye. I've been doing my own hairstyles. 
since we're in quarantine for the most part. So, yeah. <laughs> so this is a pair of shoes that I have been wanting to add to my collection for a while and I did not want to buy them new. These are pretty common shoes so I thought it'd be easy to find them secondhand and I went on Poshmark and there were a number of options for these so I kind of just waited till I saw ones that were in good condition and price and everything and my size obviously. These are shoes that I also have owned before just like the docks that I just got so it's like going back in time with my shoes right now but I really wanted these high top bands in black so these are wow these are actually like never worn these are brand new condition I'm actually having trouble remembering because I looked at so many pairs but yeah these are like new condition it looks like maybe the they were worn just because the laces are like a little discolored but I don't mind at all like as far as the tread and everything like look how crisp and clean that is and uh you know with this kind of sneaker like they they kind of almost look cooler the more worn in they get so yeah I'm pretty particular about what new styles of shoes I really want to bring into my wardrobe so I usually have a specific style in mind and I'm really happy that I was able to add three pairs which is kind of a lot for me uh in the last couple of weeks and I did it in three different ways so I thought that'd be kind of cool to look at the different ones that I got and share. I ended up finding these Steve Madden boots for $15. If I remember I had to go to three different thrift stores in order to find this pair so thrifting when you want specific shoes is possible but maybe not always the best especially if you like are on a specific timeline of like wanting or needing a pair of shoes. So my first option or second choice for thrifting is always going to be Facebook Marketplace because I like being able to shop locally, save on the packaging and shipping, and you get that instant gratification of having the item the same day, being able to actually see it in person before you purchase it. So Facebook Marketplace is awesome when you've got something specific in mind. I put in my search parameters because I still really wanted a pair of docs. So I got these docs on Facebook. I got these for 80. And then of course I went on to Poshmark for my Vans. I can't remember the price I paid, but I'll put it up on the screen. So I hope you enjoyed thrifting for shoes with me in three different ways. It's really cool to know there's so many options to get secondhand shoes that are still really good quality and you don't necessarily have to go buy something new to have the latest trends and styles that you want. So let me know what you thought of this thrift with me three ways experience. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, what were some of your favorite ways to buy secondhand? Anything that I missed that we should look at next time and I'll look forward to thrifting with you all again soon. Okay, I can't get this level. Oh, I did it. So let me <clears throat> so let me know what you thought about this whole thrifting three ways experience. What are your some of your favorite? <laughs> so let me know what you thought of this whole thrift with me experience in a few different ways. So let me know what you thought of this whole thrift with me three ways experience. What are some of your favorite ways to thrift your favorite things? What? I kind of like accidentally went pretty dramatic with my eyeshadow. Chanel, please sponsor me. Get at me. Blinded by the light. Look up there. Oh my goodness. You are so photogenic and handsome. That's not fair. All right, Rogue, this is your show. To try to actually have a video for a thing. I don't know why I'm still filming. I don't know why I'm still filming me talking to myself. <laughs>